Hey FileMaker gurus, I'm working on a little project here trying to design a database to track archery statistics. I'm, I'm getting into archery and I would like to have detailed statistics for uh, competitions or even practices or other, other archery rounds where I want to track actual uh, points on a per arrow basis. Now a lot of, there are database programs out there and apps that will track scores, you can do scores, but I want to keep track of arrow by arrow how many points I score at different distances. So I think it's kind of a complicated database and I'm running into a little trouble on one small little part. It's really simple, I think, uh, for somebody who knows what they're doing, but I'm having trouble with it. So let me just show you what I've, I've got here. Um, archery takes place at different facilities. And so here are three different archery facilities, my local archery club, and then a, a couple other places that I have, have, uh, have places where you can go shoot. Uh, different facilities have different ranges. And so you can see here that um, facility one, that was Rapids Archery Club on the previous screen, has a number of different ranges. Loop A, loop B targets 1 through 28, loop B targets 1 through 14, and so on. So there are, what, six different ranges, archery ranges, at that one facility. And then you can see that facility two has two different ranges. They have an indoor 20-yard range and an indoor 50-yard range. So, so uh, any given archery facility can have many, potentially one or many, one to many archery ranges. And then for each different archery range, there might be a different kind of a round defined. And a round uh, is this, is, and this is the part that I'm working on. Lots of different kinds of rounds. Archery is kind of like card games. You can play a lot of different games with the same deck of cards. In archery, you can play different games. Or you can have different, they're called rounds. They're kind of like games is the, the concept. And one of them is called a 300 round, where you shoot 60 arrows. The maximum points for each arrow is 5, so a maximum total of, uh, of 300 points. And so what I want to do is I want to create each, so at each, I need to, to define different kinds of rounds. And I want to be able to do the same round over and over again at a particular archery facility, at a particular archery range within the facility. So I have... I want to have a conditional value list here where I choose I choose the facility, I, I define the name of the round, I give it a description. I say, okay, this is this this round takes place at this this facility and on this particular range. And that's where I'm having trouble. I'd like to have the range drop down depend on what I choose for this facility so that I only see ranges at a given facility. So for example, uh, and it's not working. So at Rapids Archery Club, I said there were six different ranges available. If I choose Rapids, um, I only see these two on my range. So how do I have it set up? So this is how I have my uh, table set up. And we don't even need to look at the rest of it. It's kind of complex, and I'm not even sure if this is all correct. But this is the part we're looking at. So I have a given facility can have one or many ranges. And a given range can have one or many rounds associated with it. And so you can see the fields here. I thought that I, what I needed to do was create, uh, kind of clone this table to make a, a second a table. And I can't remember what those are called now. And where I was uh, connecting them by name and trying to make it work. So, but it's not working. And so, you know, I had a, a value list here. Oops, I can't show that here. Click out of that. I had some value lists shown, and that so that one I'm having trouble. I'm trying to find this this trying to define this range value list here. So if I look at range list, I open specify the fields. I'm using values from that facility ranges. That was that sort of cloned table um, that I was using, and the range ID and the name, and then only including related values from the ranges table. So, but it's not working and actually not only is it not working, um, I notice when I mess around with these these uh, drop downs here, I also mess up my I mess up my name of the in the facilities table. So I have to go back here and, and fix this. Anytime I mess around with those drop downs, I end up putting the ID of something into this name field. So anyway, if anybody has an idea on how to do this, um, this sort of cascading conditional value list from facilities down to ranges, down to rounds, and having that show and make that work, 
I'm not getting it. I've watched lots of videos and I'm not sure. So any help would be appreciated. Thanks. Bye.